Spring also brings Easter, the first holiday of the year. Gone are the worries of the workaday world. Forgotten is the hubbub of mill and workshop. By coach, by train, by car or on foot, our Nelson folk flock to the sea and countryside. They are a hard-working people and they know how to play hard. Even though Easter 1962 was not favoured by the sun, the people of Nelson still made their way towards the Pendle countryside and the roads leading to Noggoth and Hyreford all had their groups of determined hikers. Wherever lay our choice, ample travel facilities were available. Traditionally, ramblers have always made for the summit of Pendle Hill at Easter. and lanes by way of rushing pendle water were crowded with eager throngs bent on leaving the town behind. choice lay further afield, colourful railway posters invited you to travel east or west towards the coasts. In 1962, more people than ever travelled by road, and Nelson Station did not present the busy scene of former years. There was room to spare for all who chose this as their point of departure. parties too were catered for by special ramblers excursions. A leisurely journey by rail was only a prelude to the greater exertions which lay ahead. Another annual spring attraction is the Nelson Agricultural Show. Advertised as the biggest one day show in the Northwest. Visitors from a wide area join our local people in making their way to Seed Hill and in company with civic leaders of neighbouring authorities enjoy a day to be remembered.
cup that cheers, the glass that froths, the food for the inner man are consumed in astonishing quantities. Whether your interest be in horses, rabbits, dogs or babies, your taste will be catered for in this wonderful one-day show. May 1962 brought the hospital gala and procession. This year, a special attraction was the presence of Miss World and Marty Wilde. Donald Carter took his duties very seriously as escort to this lady whose charms were so outstanding. The streets of Nelson were, as usual for this annual event, filled with happy crowds. Troops of dancers and voluntary collectors paraded through the town, eager to empty our pockets in the interests of local hospitals.